What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today, let's see, we haven't played Tempo, Aggro, Order, whatever, in a vial. Okay. So, we're playing as double WBMC today. Um, pretty cool that a lot of the old players uh, are still logged on sometimes. Um, oh, you actually probably hear duelist, mu duelist music in the background right now. <laughs> okay, that's fixed. I have one, two, I have no two drop. I'm gonna try a new starting hand. So we're in a similar boat. Alright, so this is a much better starting hand. Ground to the falling won't really help against another order player. So I can play two drop next turn. Hopefully I can draw three drops soon. Tempo order. A ducal dude. I'll put my own ducal dude. Ooh, even magnetizer. Why do I have that in this deck? Uh. I guess I'll. Hmm, busting a haste. What do I want to get rid of here? All these are really valuable. I think I want to play the Magnetizer this turn. He could play Wing Shield. Which. Let me get rid of the focus, actually. Nope. Nope. Gonna get rid of the busting haste. And protect him a little bit. Okay. I gotta change these idols to my pies or something. Yeah, I'm gonna further move my face cam over to the right. I'll make it a little smaller, it doesn't need to be that big. Don't mind me. I'm a little bit smaller. There we go. Now we can see the full number of the health there. Uh, now I can focus. Now what I want to get rid of, I can. F yeah, I think I want to focus, and I'll play a. Ducal Infantryman, I'll get rid of the Royal Skirmisher. Oh, that was kind of bad. Why did I put this in front? Should have put my Ducal Infantryman in front in case he is a blessing of haste or risk being potion on the Expedition Guard. And the reason I get the Pother, not the Royal Skirmisher, is because I think he's going to move up and maybe I can do something nifty and kill something. Yep, he had a blessing in haste, so that was not too smart of me. Perfect draw. Ducal Skirmisher. Um I guess rather than dealing one damage on that idol and moving my ducal down, I'll put pressure on this guy. And I am top decking. He plays a dual skirmisher of his own. And he's running away, so that gives me an opportunity to run a kind of focus. Pother. Uh, I could try to. I can deal two damage or something. I'm gonna sacrifice the Pother for scrolls. That's good. I got a blessing of haste and favor dominion. We don't have dominion yet, but I'll definitely blessing of haste here. And there we go. So that was a good top deck. 
and we're in control of this tempo order mirror. Slightly different decks here though. This is like a super strong enchantment if I get Dominion, which means I have to destroy one of the idols. We'll see. I think I'll, if we have time in this video, I'll play another match. I'll play against Adrianka, who I actually played my first Skrulls uh, match. Um, since I took my time off. My first Skrulls video on this channel in a long time. Yeah, I've noticed my Skrulls videos on this channel still get a lot more than my Duelist ones, but I kind of want to slowly transition into Duelist more. I guess Skrulls is going away, but... It's nice to see whenever I upload a Skrulls video, people like to watch. Hmm. So I'll probably run away unless I have something favored, Aging Knight. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the favored and okay we have pretty good curve here we're just gonna flood the board with units I guess yeah so he can oh I probably should have moved this guy back so he doesn't have 100% chance of pothering the ducal skirmisher That'd be kind of bad. So I can sacrifice whatever I draw next turn and play my Royal Vanguard. Ah, and now he's probably going to focus. Hmm. Yep, focus. Even another focus to clear the rail. That would be oh he has double focus. Ouch, that hurts. Um decimation, I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the Vanguard for scrolls. I guess I'll decimate here. Kill you and move up and just hope he doesn't have any kind of blessing of haste. <laughs> I guess that's the play. <laughs> Please don't have blessing of haste. Or was being potion. That would be very bad. I'm not sure if I'm playing this game too correctly. Staring after you, what does this do again? A random you just need a creature gets one attack. Okay. Have another magnetizer. Up. Oh. Pow, there's that. Does he have a uh, ducal skirmisher to pair with that? Or a ducal infantryman to kill that? I'd be very sad if he did. Or anything really to increase that attack. Okay, good. At least he doesn't. Oh no! What the heck is this? Creature Strike 2? Since when was that a thing? <laughs> I did not know that card did that. Uh, <laughs> well, let's get rid of that. I can roast a beam potion. Wouldn't really help. I'm just going to hope he doesn't have any more pothers and stuff like that. I'm discovering things about these new cards very late. <laughs> So, yeah, I would. You know, I didn't realize this was a wing soldier. I was thinking it's a wing sphere with the spiky guy. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I am stupid. Okay, let's get a pother of our own. Okay. 
President's sword, second hops right now. Proud mercenary. Well, not a lot to do here. Well, now we have a pretty good magnetizer. I'm not, I don't think this game's gonna go too well for me. He's a lot of cards in his hand. Bigger units. Let me pother. He goes for scrolls. I do have ways of boosting my attack and decreasing my countdown and moving pretty far, so. I have some tools in my hand. I don't have a I don't have a relentless unit, which is a which is a shame. He's moving down, keeping that guy up there. And that's a wing spear. Ouch. Let's get a pother, please. Please get a pother. Favored. Not gonna help right now. Well, I guess it could help. Hmm. I'm gonna actually go to the resident sword here. Decimation. If I had another decimation, that'd be good, but. Or some kabonks. Uh, well, I can go for a Rosapine Potion Focus. I mean, I can't really do a lot, actually. I think I'm just gonna sacrifice my dudes. It's the best I can do. I hope he doesn't have any more attack buffs. I'm not feeling too confident about this one. This match. Hmm. Like I have no, I have no. The problem is I have no skirmishers. I really need relentless on the board. He has two relentless units. I have none. The fact that he hasn't sacrificed yet gets me worried. That means he has something in his hand already. Does he really have another focus? He already used two. He had another focus. Does he have uh, another way of doing things? Can he clear my board? And a busting of haste. He needs one more damage to clear up. And, oh sorry, that was actually my Facebook. Let me mute that. Well, that's a clear board. And I think I'm going to go ahead and surrender. There's not a lot I can do at this point. So, that'll be it for that match. I think, uh... Adrianka wanted a game. Okay, let's see. Why am I not in general room? Um, let's play some. We played all the Grave Lock Energy. I have not played that in a long time. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't take too long. That looks like we're actually starting a match because it's... Alright, there we go. wonder what he's playing. 
I'm playing Grave Lock Energy. Yeah, we're at 15 minutes, so it looks like we can get a couple games in this video. I don't know, I'm just not as good as I used to be. I've been losing some scrolls matches. Guess it's all the rust. Growth. How are we gonna defeat this? Potion resistance helps. Mm. Do I keep this hand? Probably not. I can get a two drop down. But if he just has like a brave or something I'm dead. My uhu. Isn't until turn four in desperation, it's like good for vetters, but didn't play better. Okay, this is much, much faster start. Raider into guard or smuggler. Gotta keep the elder. Uh, ooh, copper auto iron whip is a, is a good play though. I'm gonna get rid of the copper auto though. Yeah. I kept the uh, iron whip rather than the copper automaton because let's say he plays a brave right now, I could just iron whip my great raider to kill it. And now I wish I had the copper automaton to destroy that thing. <laughs> Grave lock burrows. Really control is damage. Hmm. Welp. Gonna get rid of that. I'll play the. Hired smuggler actually. See if I can get like a master next turn, that'd be good. Right now, if both of this and this hit this. Burn. Perfect. That was a great draw. Beautiful draw. Because now I can get rid of this iron whip. Knowing that I can burn this thing next turn towards the center, so he's like late game growth. So again, that elder down is gonna be really important. So burn that elder next turn. Let's really hope I don't draw top deck like okay, another grave block elder right now, so I don't have to sacrifice one of them. And I'll draw a structure. So then what are the structures I have in this deck again? Um, I can't, I can't remember. Brother of the Wolf. Okay, so we're gonna have to get rid of the Thunder Surge, oh well. Burn this thing. And... Do I move up, put pressure on this, or do I move down, put pressure on that? I think I'd rather... Forgot if this deck has tick bombs or not. This does not give extra attack anymore, which is annoying. I think I move up. I don't really want to have to deal with that. And what do we draw? Snorgle on my. That's what it is. Play two energy, sift two great from your library, draw one of them, he's building only. Okay, yes. That's like the rampant up card. Was he going to play a great wolf? Veteran. Interesting choice of the veteran, the thing that's not attacking. I'd be very happy if he decides to uh, kill that. Okay, yeah. That makes slightly more sense. And now I'm not in a great spot. Well, I guess we have double elders then. And I'll just do some omelet, omelet shenanigans. Yeah. Put my elder in the back. So. He's ramping up a bit. He doesn't have a lot of cards, at least. He's not going to spawn a wolf if he wants to destroy that raider. So next turn I go to six, play the elder? Or no? It only takes two energy when playing that. I have to run out of cards, that's the thing. 
need to run out of scrolls soon. Looks like a close game. Great Wolf. Good, I'm actually glad he uh, did that. Lockling Brood. Does Growth have a lot of enchantments I can go with here? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and play another Elder. You know, I don't think we're going to win this though. Should have actually sacrificed a Snarl Omelette because we're going to get a Omelette right now. Whoops. Well, hopefully it doesn't have like a rally or anything. Play this up here or down here? I guess down here. I wish this was in the front actually. Okay. So. I might not actually be able to use the Snargle Omelet next turn. I might just have to abandon the Snargle Omelet strategy. Because I'm like behind on creatures here. I really need like a Violent Dispersal. Or another burn. Do you have this thing out ready to attack? This Elder in the back. I have two Elders. So any Grave Locks I play will have really beastly attack. But he's a lot of things attacking uh, the following turn. Um, and if he has a Crimson Bowl or two then that would quickly destroy my creatures like even with some extra health hmm. so I need five resources to get this off um, so basically if I draw a two drop or less I can abuse the omelet next turn Okay, so if he runs away, he's going to probably go for idols here, so that means I'm just going to have to draw some draw some uh, removal now, which I think I'm in, I'm ready to draw. I only drew one burn so far. I don't think I actually had to sacrifice. Actually, no, I definitely sacrificed the Thunder Surge so far. I don't think any Valent Dispersal is there. Gravelock Freak. Uh, well, you know, I don't think we're going to have room on the board to play Snorgal Omelette. We don't really have that luxury. To get rid of that, uh, don't know Thunder Surge actually. This is a tough choice. He's gonna be able to kill anything. I don't want to like put my elder in danger. That's the thing. This is gonna have eight health. So I can put this here and think it might survive. Now I want I want to keep it. I'll, I'll I'll let this I'll let this die. Okay. I mean like if he does go down, I can actually attack with everything. Uh, and move up because if I iron whip, like for example, the elder in the back, then my freak uh, goes down to countdown zero as well. So, the iron whip is a it's a, like, a nice combo play with gray block freaks. We'll see if we can lure him down there. We don't really want to do it. I guess we do want to move him down because he's just gonna run away with the game otherwise. Last thing we want, okay, rumble. I mean, does he have a crimson bolt now? Like. You go five, five. You know, that's not like that's not gonna kill me. I lose my freak. I'm not. I don't really mind too much about that play. He he used a rumble and a crimson bolt, and he's just taking out one of my creatures. And I'm not, now I'm ready to attack him too. So. That's not the worst thing in the world. And he has no cards anymore. Okay, he destroys an idol, and now. Burrows. Getting a Burrows out can be really, really good. Uh, 
Uh, if I could just... He's no cards, he's top thing. If I could, I could iron up this. But then in this, I want to kill the Great Wolf. How do I do that? I need to draw, I need Sack for Scrolls in order to do that. Um, I need the Grave Lock. Okay, goodbye Snorgle Omelet. Yeah, I guess the Snorgle Omelet is going. Need to remove all. Okay, poster resistance. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. So I may as well just draw a structure here. Yeah, I'll draw the structure. And then I'll play some gray blocks. So. You up here, you down here, and then who do I want to post in resistance? I think I want to protect this room more. Just barely more. That was a big turnaround play right there because I uh, was able to get some health down on the board. Get a Snorgle Omelette back. Wish I could have played the Greylock Burrows that turn. Maybe a better play would have been to... Rather than play the Greylock Guard, play Greylock Burrows. And just like leave a Smuggler out to dry, I don't know. Another good game. I guess last game wasn't that good. I was kind of down from the get-go. Not from the get-go. Like, from the middle rounds, he overtook me. WBMC. Okay, let's top deck a Thunder Surge, I guess. I don't even know if I have another Thunder Surge in the deck, though. Is he going to move down with the Brave? He might be afraid of the Thunder Surge, so he does, might just stay at the top idol and just destroy that, which I wouldn't mind. I just have to protect these three. I know he has Rumbles in the deck, though. He already used one. I don't know how many more he has before the deck recycles. Okay. And now, Fury, what a draw. So, I can increase, what does this do again? When a grave block you control dealt damage, your other grave block is plus one attack. So I can increase all my attack, all my grave blocks by one with an iron whip on one of them. So I would do, I want to kill this. So I have five attack with this, th three, five, yeah, I think I have to do that. I wish this guy was behind there. So that's Burrows, well I have to do the Fury then. It's all units on the board, whatever. Um, goodbye Snargle Omelet. So, I don't know if there's another way to do this. I think this is the this is the play. So Fury, Greylock Burrows, and I'm killing this. And then I guess I am killing. I wish I could Iron Whip that, but I have to kill the I have to kill the Great Wolf. I guess I could just. Iron with the Great Wolf then. And I'll protect the middle idol. I'll lose my uh, my high smuggle here, but I really want to actually draw a Sargal Omelet because now I have no now I have no cards, so it's easy to ramp up and use a Snarl Omelet. You can only use a Snarl Omelet when you have zero cards in hand. Yeah. So I, for a while there I was gonna iron with one of my own grave locks, so that because it would activate the grave lock burrows. But that does the same amount of damage what I just did because all the creatures I was killing were dying anyways. And this way I get to keep an elder with 6 health rather than 5 health. Notable. Gravelock Outcast, I can't really use his ability. Because I have no growth in this deck. No growth at all.
Brother the Wolf, top left. Okay, so now it's just really like hoping that I can protect these idols now. I'd like another potion of resistance. Boohoo, Snorgle Omelette. Uh, I think it's Snorgle Omelette. I guess I gotta do that. Alright, let's protect the Snorgle Omelette though. I want to move up though. Don't want to let him hide anywhere. I guess I could play it over here. I'll play it bottom left actually. Snarl Omelet. Pay two energy, see if we can get a three drop. No three drop, unfortunately. So we'll have to stick with what we got here. And that's kind of scary. Um, in that case, let's just sacrifice our omelet. Yeah, that was an unlucky omelet draw. I really wanted to get a, a grave lock there I could play, but I got two lockling broods. Like getting a raider, a uh, guard, or a outcast there would be good. I'm still in a pretty good position. I wonder if he has a god hands in this deck. It seems a little too aggressive to have god hands. Actually, not really. I mean, you did have Nognes in the beginning, which are more late-ish game or mid-range. It's more of a mid-range growth deck with the Brother of the Wolves, Great Wolf. Not like super aggro, but I haven't seen anything like Quake. Oh, sorry. I... I'm leaving myself open to a Kinfolk Gutter and on my Snorgle Omelet. Oh well. I want to protect my Elders. Getting the two early Elders early on in this game really saved me. And imagine how like far ahead I'd be in this game if this, the Elders gave the attack buff like they used to. That was when Gravelocks were OP right after they came out with the, all the, in the Gravelock update. Like a year ago. Or actually two years ago. Man, it's been a long time. Sorry about that, that was the phone. Uh, rallying. Well, he's going to destroy top idol, which doesn't really do a whole lot, because he still has a brave attacking up here who's going to attack anyways. And now I have a lot of attack on my creatures, but they're going to destroy this row of creatures anyways. And I'm in a very good position. I can burn something... What do I want to do here? I I don't see what I can do wrong. I'm tempted to just like deal idle damage, but I won't. Let's burn. Let's burn the brave. Let's get rid of the brood. And we'll play the Uhu. So let's destroy middle row. Play Uhu to protect this. And I'm going to hope he doesn't have anything to break this middle row. So let's be somewhat cautious because he has rumbles. I have more than enough attack to destroy his little creatures. Now I have a Desperation. It's, I like this card in my Greylock deck because it doubles as, like, Timely removal. It's kind of like a uh, iron whip in a way that you can use it offensively or defensively. You can deal one damage, good for killing vetters or decreasing health. Uh, and also, you can get it's almost like a machinated sometimes if you're facing a row full of units and you can just get a six attack. Okay, so he fills up his board a little bit. VD. VD, VD, VD. Um, I'm thinking, well, this is not going to be able to attack next turn, so I'm, instead of just sacrificing scrolls, I'm hoping for like a fury, or honestly, I should probably just go for resources, VD this, and just protect myself. Uh, 
Um, do I protect this idol? Yeah, I should protect all the idols. I don't really want to lose. I'd rather lose an Uhu. Oh, that's kind of stupid. I didn't move down my elders. <laughs> Then I could threaten the bottom of the board. It's like a misplay, basically. I mean, I might be able to just win really soon, though, because I'll have massive attack if he hits these gray blocks. I'm in a position where, where it's more like build board, building my board rather than winning the game because I have this omelet on the board and I have nine resources, no cards. So next turn, in all likelihood, I'll sacrifice whatever I get for resources and then be able to use uh, the Snarl Omelette once or twice. I'll just put more health on my board. Wonder what Adrianka has in store. Okay, so he's going to actually avoid hitting my Grave Locks, actually. So that... Or how's he doing this? I'm not really sure. Interesting. As do I sacrifice your scrolls, helping for some like removal for that great wolf? I don't think so. I think I just build up my board. I guess he could do like a rumble mangy wolf, which could have a chance of winning the game. Well, oh, if I am able to kill, ooh, Gravelock Elder. Darn. I play it. I think I have to play it. I can't let this go. Yeah. So I'll play the Elder. Then I'll do the Snarl Omelette. I can take either of these. I'll take the Raid at this point. I think I'll play this. Actually, I think I'll sacrifice for resources. I'll do this. And now I'll go for the increase energy. Start doing some fun stuff. Great luck, freak. And I'll play that. I never, I never even sacrifice this turn. <laughs> And sure, I'll destroy, destroy that up there. Leaving my middle row slightly vulnerable, but I think I'm, I think I'm good. Probably uh, should have sacrificed at some point in that turn. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm ramping up really high with this omelet. And I have three elders out, so my units are monsters. And then if he attacks me, I get. I like how this Gridlock Burrows hit Linger 8. Helps so much. Okay, and I destroyed one of the stat cards, so he's not going to be able to get a super wolf, really. Let's try to just keep clearing his ward and getting closer to winning the game. Gridlocks don't really have that much attack anymore. Well, darn. That. It's kind of annoying because I really like that wasn't resistance. In that case, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it on our Grave Lock Freak because I forgot I can just do this. Up oh, and we get another Freak. I guess I'm playing the Freak again. I'm not sacrificing back-to-back -back turns. I'll play another freak. Well, 
move back, move like this. You know, I'll actually. I'm leaving the bottom a little open there. Whatever. I guess that doesn't really matter. I don't think he's going to be able to really win. I'm actually running out of Grave Locks to sift through my deck. So pretty ideal scenario here. We have an Uhu, three Elders, and two Freaks on the board right now. This is what a board of powerful Grave Locks looks like. And this is a really long video, 40 minutes so far. Should be over soon. I'm proud of you all that made it uh, stuck out thus far. Let's see. I will. Oh, he's going to hit me now, so I'm going to have a lot of attack on the board. I might be able to win the game next turn. Attacking the potion resistance, dude. Not a lot Adrianka could do. Nognist. Okay. Um, can I win the game now? Let's see. Yeah, I can win the game. So. That goes to nine, right? Up. Oh, actually, that doesn't. That does that win the game? Yeah, that wins the game. So that destroys that. That destroys that, and I destroy that. GGWP. Good victory. Coming back from the loss with a win. So that'll be all for today. Sorry for the long video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.